Hola, saludos y bendiciones a cada uno de ustedes. My name is Emily Norton and I have the privilege of teaching Spanish here at Connections. Just a little bit about me, we've been part of the Connections family for several years now. First of all, I came as a teacher and now my daughter has been at Connections for two years as a student and she's absolutely loving it here. Uh, my family is very multicultural. My mom was born here in Portland, Oregon in the US and my dad is from Colombia, South America and I just so happen to be born in Australia. So as you can imagine, our family is very diverse in culture, taste of food, our family traditions, and of course, language. It is not uncommon in my family to hear one person speaking in Spanish and the other one responding in English. And then we even mix up the two mid-sentence. We'll kind of flip-flop back and forth. And that's just very much my everyday way of life. And I am so excited to be able to share my love of the Spanish language and culture and heritage with you and your family this year. This video is specific specifically about our high school Spanish classes that we will be offering in the upcoming year. We will be offering Spanish 1, 2, and 3. And of course, the prerequisites for classes 2 and 3 will be that you have done the previous years. So let me show you the text that we'll be using in Spanish 1. The book is called Spanish is Fun, Book 1, and this is edition 5. Please make sure that you're looking for the fifth edition when you're looking for this book. And if you do think that you'll be in Spanish 1 the upcoming year, I would suggest that you order it early in the summer as we found out that it sold out very quickly last year. Spanish 2 and 3 will be covered with this book right here. It's called Spanish is Fun Book 2 and this is the third edition. And along with that you're going to want to make sure that you have 501 Spanish verbs. We start using this midway through the year in Spanish 2 but it's a really helpful resource for your student to have and they need to have it at the beginning of the year. In order to make sure that we're not just filling out workbooks and completing worksheets, there's a lot of interactive portions to our class as well. So my students will get to play lots of games. They'll be reading out loud, speaking with one another. That way I can walk around the room and I can hear pronunciation. We can correct certain pronunciation and of course help them understand what it is that they were saying. Uh, Spanish 1 and 2 have been very intense classes, but specifically Spanish 1 because it lays the groundwork for everything else that you'll do in Spanish 2 and 3. So be prepared for several hours of homework, um, both written and of course practicing, but please know that I am always here to help you and I do try to make my classes very fun and interactive. I hope that most of my students would say that they have enjoyed their high school Spanish experience at Connections with me. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact contact me directly and I would be happy to help. Que Dios te bendiga. Adios.